dynamite. I'm dynamite. Ah, TNT. I'm a fat with all my might. Reapers. What's this good? It's your boy Laser. Using the vibes. We're back with another reaction video. He's on the reaction content. So continue to do that for you guys. And drink to protect 500,000 or uh, 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 keep it. If you guys enjoy the reaction content, we're actually using the features to the like button. You subscribe to the notification bell icon, bro. I'll stream every night. Twitch streams are fucking amazing. Let's dive straight into this video. These five tanks are literally about to rain missiles upon this $500,000. And any money that doesn't get destroyed, I'm giving- Dude, it's just crazy how Mr. Beast, like, just casually, like- <laughs> I, I, I keep forgetting this man has so much fucking money, bro. Like, he could literally, like, this is not- This is like a pebble compared to what he has. ...to Blake. But well, lucky for you, I'm gonna give you my credit card, and you can spend as much money as no, you want. No, he's gonna to swipe with it. This money from all of the missiles we're gonna be launching at your money. So I just build whatever I want, whatever you want. Dude, imagine uh, being executed by a tank. I know that's actually like a real thing, but imagine just being executed by a tank. That's actually, I know it would be instant, but like fucking hell, bro. Your guts and organs go splat. But you only have 24 hours until we fire these tanks. I need metal. Let's go. All right, let's go, boys. Oh, he's running. We're kicking this off with a sprint. All right, Blake, where are we going to first? Sing in the junkyard. Blake's first three hours consisted of sourcing any metal he could find to protect his money. I mean, this looks like they have metal. Even if that meant spending $30,000. Definitely want that, want that, all the trucks. Basically, you just want every car here. Yeah. Who is this guy? Is he like a new member, Mr. Beast? I don't know. I probably just haven't noticed him. Can you give me any of your shipping containers? Gonna go back. Yeah. This is good. I feel like those will work well if I put them on top of the money. Oh. And as if buying out the entire store wasn't enough, Blake did the same thing at two other industrial stores. So everything I get from you today, I would need within the next 12 hours. 12 hours? I, I, I'm willing to pay double. Okay, you we'll get it. He's very quick to throw my money around. <laughs> $15,000. And while we waited for the materials to be delivered, we headed back to the money and Blake laid out- Bro, and I know this is completely random too. Like, you gotta just- it's crazy how Mr. Beast, like, if you look at his first video, bro, I mean, everyone started somewhere. Shit, I mean, I started somewhere. His first video was, like, him playing Minecraft, and now he's doing this shit. Like, he, I mean, like, that's the thing, man. Like, you just never know what's going to happen in your future. Like, I guarantee Mr. Beast, I mean, I know he had, like, a vision probably, but, like, I don't know if he expected he'd be this big, bro. Like, it's crazy how far he's come. Like, I remember when he did counting, all that shit, bro. Now he's doing this crazy shit. Like, what the fuck? His official plan. You just spent the last hour strategizing. What did you come up with to stop the tanks from destroying your money? Step one, I want to put a shipping container over the money. That is actually genius. Step two, giant water tanks. Do you think that's your best defense? I think it's good, but it's not the best. Step three is containers filled with brick, hay, and wood. Step four is my best defense. A fortress of strategically angled oh. cars. From the last video that I saw, those bullets are gonna hit those cars and ricochet elsewhere. If he actually builds everything you see here, I will be flabbergasted. Let's get to work. You know what this kind of reminds me of, bro? I don't know if it... I, I don't remember how the show went. You guys remember Build, Destroy, or whatever the fuck it was called? Uh, yeah, I don't even know. Good luck. Unfortunately for Blake, it wouldn't be for another four hours until his materials were delivered. So he hired some construction workers to help get the job done. I'm building a complete fortress. You drop the atomic bomb on this thing. The money's not going anywhere. This is like an industrial construction site. It started to look like Blake might actually have a chance at protecting his money. But even if the 500 grand survives those tanks, the tanks are actually only the first of four phases of attacks Blake will have to defend. And believe me when I say this, they're gonna get much more challenging. For the the rest of the night, Blake and his crew worked tirelessly to defend the money. But by the time the sun rose, they still weren't quite done. Looking good, looking good. Oh no, not the van. That's the money. The tank over there. What is this car here for? This is like my inventory back here, dude. Put your inventory between the money and the tank. Give me 10 minutes and that white car will be right I here. mean, you have five minutes. <laughs> ah! I don't have ah! time to do anything else. Stop, stop, time is up, drop it. Drop it right there. Go far away. Blake, time is officially ended. Boink. Seems pretty sturdy. Let's go fire some tanks. I've been up for about 25 hours now, just building and building and building. I mean, I'm looking at it now and it looks great, but then I turn around and I see these five beasts, and then I see these shells that they're working Oh no, sorry, we didn't mean to uh, hit the uh, fire button. <laughs> with i really had no idea they were going to be that big you imagine being that guy though and like you hear one of them say that 
Think a shipping container stopping that? Hopefully three of them are. Oh man. All right, it's time. Load up the tanks. All right, these five tanks pointed at your money are about to fire 20 rounds. Blake, fire the Put first shot. Put someone in front of it. There's so much dust. Oh my gosh, look at his face. Look at Blake's face. No way his money's safe. So only 19 more, right? 19 more to go. Chandler, fire! Ah! Wait, that was Chandler? Oh, oh shit. This is way too much fun. Oh, oh my god. Now I just realized too, like, I know they gotta wear the headphones and shit. It's kinda like, you know, when you go to like to like a drag racing or whatever, it's like hell loud. I know tanks are just as loud, if not louder, but I can't imagine like the vibration, bro. <laughs> All the way back here, I can count eight holes in that shipping container. Yeah, I, I see those holes. No shot, his money's safe. I'd ask you how you're feeling, but we might as well fire the last few shots. Let's just get this over with. Five shots. No. Four shots remain. Three shots remain. How much money do you have back there? Uh, you like half. <laughs> Two remain. And of course, Blake, you have to fire the last shell. The honor is mine. After Blake, this, we'll see if you have any money be left. Be a man, Blake. Let's go! Oh, he's running! He's so fast! Is there any money? Hey, it's still there! Yes! Blake, it looked like your money we survived. We got a fresh stack. I know you're happy, but we're gonna move on to phase two of four. And in 24 hours, we're gonna blow up the biggest bomb we've ever detonated oh. in the history of our channel around your money. God damn! Are you gonna drop it? Are you gonna shoot it? I'm glad you asked. We'll I'll my be right back. Toy after Blake, what do you think's in those green crates? I don't know, dude. It looks like. Here, I'll answer for you. This is a hundred crates filled to the brim with TNT. How are you even allowed to do that? TNT, I'm dynamite. Ah, TNT. I'm a fat with all my might. I'm not sure it's legal. And while we prepared one of the biggest explosions in YouTube history, Blake began to strategize on how to keep his money safe. Step one, we gotta take everything flammable out of here, man. All the wood has gotta go. Step two, water tanks. <laughs> step three, I wanna move the shipping containers that I got. I just wanna close them in into the other shipping containers. And then step four is just walls, cement, bricks, cars if I have to. Oh. The explosion is a lot worse than the tanks. This is bigger than that safe that blew up. Yes. Every single thing inside of that destroyed. <laughs> Larry Universe World. The sure. first time Dead. he lost two hundred fifty thousand dollars in this video. Are we gonna repeat it. No. With phase two commencing in just eighteen hours, Blake gave the workers he hired a life-changing speech. Gentlemen, we survived day one. Yeah! Yeah, give it up. Come on. Woo! You were good. You were great. But there's still five hundred thousand dollars back there. So let's. Get I just realized they're destroying that money. Fuck, that's painful to watch. Get to work! Let's do it! Let's go! Yeah! 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 And because at this point, Blake had been awake for over 24 hours, he trusted the construction workers to finish the job. That boy needs to get sleep. Rest. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. This is Blake going dark. And because he was so exhausted, Blake slept for way longer than he planned. All right, I got a good night's sleep. About to find out how much progress was really done overnight. Like half. Damn. Empty. That means nothing has happened since I've been gone. Yeah, that's no good. Let's see what it looks like over here. Uh... Even after his inspiring speech, the workers that Blake hired didn't get much of his plan done. And Damn. with only six hours remaining, Blake did what he could by covering his weak spots with spare parts, bricks, and more cars. Looking good in here, looking real good. Doi. Oh, Mr. Jimmy! What am I about to witness? If you listen close, you can hear beeping. It's actually a school bus coming, and it's gonna be plopped right where you're standing. I assume it's not full of children. It's a short bus. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, it's just a magic school bus. That is just not what I asked. This is our brand new Feastables bar. New flavor, new branding. Oh, yeah, by the way, those Feastables bars are actually really good. I've had the Mr. Dude, you know what was crazy, bro? Everyone shits on the Mr. Beast food, and it's like, it's crazy. The Mr., the, what's it called? Uh, Beast Burger or whatever. Everyone shits on it, but I've actually, like, ordered it, like, multiple times. It's so good. But then, 
as soon as I saw that article, it was like, yeah, I'm not buying this shit. Like, bro, it, to me, it just tasted like another fast food place. But, like, it was really, I know it's like a ghost kitchen, but it was like, the food was actually good. And But Mr. Beast himself said, like, he doesn't like it anymore. I think it's still a thing, but it's like, I'm not ordering from there anymore. Because, like, clearly he doesn't care. If Mr. Beast doesn't care about it, he's only, he's only got sued by his own company, bro. <laughs> but as far as the chocolate bars from him, I've had that. That shit's actually really good. Like, I'm going to say this right now. As far as, like, YouTuber, like, items sold, like, uh, consumables or whatever, Mr. Beast's, like, chocolate bars or his, like, food is way better than fucking Prime, bro. Prime is so dog shit. Most overrated energy drink of all time. I drank that shit, bro. It was terrible. And people are literally, like, dying from that shit, literally. You wanna try it, Blake? Yeah. Apparently, I'm I think you are dying. Snack products to distract I think some people are dying from the bus. Dude, honestly, this is better than all the other ones. All the he's other not ones. Wrong. I promise. Anyone want a piece of chocolate? Nah, he's not wrong. I think I think Feastables is actually better than most chocolate bars, bro. I don't like Hershey's. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Did you get that? That was not sponsored, guys. I mean, dead serious. I think Feastables hey, are actually really good. Five minutes till boom. I need ten more minutes. Just give me five extra minutes. You have four minutes. Bro, you're spraying them with water. Probably feels good. I don't think they agree. They're literally <laughs> getting off the car. They've got 90 seconds left. Blake, you're running out of time. Go, go, come on, come on. Hey, it's five o'clock. Stop, stop, stop. Turn it off, turn it off. Hey, hey, Blake, turn it off or I start taking money. Bro, he's just uh, coming. Let's go over to the bunker. You narrowly escaped death from the tanks. Let's see if you can do it again. Let the sun go down so it's a little darker now. This is the biggest bomb we've ever set off. Yeah, this is the first bomb I've ever seen. <laughs> Blake, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating now. This is the detonation device. Here you go. It's live? Yes, it's live. Uh, two days of work, 17 cars, six water jugs, four shipping containers, $500,000 on the line. Let's find out if you're going home rich or with nothing. When you're ready, Blake. Three, two, one. Mom, I love you. Fucking hell, bro. Ah, uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, I think I left my baby in there, hon. Wah! Are you still alive? <laughs> oh! oh my gosh! That fire sword is massive! Can we go put that out? Before we go put it out, I'm just wasting time. Run! Whoa, 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 whoa! Have the fire surgeon go! Go, go, go! Let's go see if it burns! Oh, no. Oh, it's on fire over there. <gasps> no. Oh, be careful. This. Ah! Get off my money. What are the those, fire's bro? still going on up front. Blake is moving sandbags. Please don't be ashes. Please don't be ashes. What do you see? What do you see? I see green! Oh green! My God. Yeah, baby! Yeah! I see a lot of dirt on it, but it seems to survive. It's weed. Whoa! I knew it! Blake, you Dirty money! <laughs> two of four. Do you want to see what the next challenge is? Yes. Fucking hell. Yo, that, that actually was low-key dangerous. Because, like, that... I feel like... I don't know. Like, parts of it could have, like... Like, moved around and, like... I don't know. Alright, Blake. For your third challenge, we're gonna be dropping flaming cars filled with gasoline... Well, to be fair, they're in, like, a landmine. So, it's like, I think... Uh, land side, whatever the fuck it's called. So it's like, I think they're hell smart with it. Clean on top of your money. Can you tell me how many cars? A lot. A lot? A lot. This is going to be the hardest phase yet. Blake will not only have to deflect the attack from the sky, but he'll also have to protect his money from the flammable gasoline seeping through the cracks of his defense. And after we drop the cars, I have another surprise. Good luck. I want the crate with the money in it to be stuffed with concrete. That shipping container that's just sitting on plop that on top of the money. Now, Since Blake smart. had been working so hard for the past few days, he ended up going right to sleep and saved most of his work for the next day. And although he seemed confident, this challenge would soon prove itself to be more difficult than anything he's ever faced in these videos. They got, they definitely destroyed that. Right, this is day four. I'm feeling like a zombie. We're gonna take the other shipping container that I have. We're gonna pick that up and we're gonna put it in a formation to where the point is facing up. So it's like a pyramid. The cars will hit it, doom and fall, but not on the money. 
We gotta get that shipping container on top as soon as possible. He's starting to worry me a little bit. Over the I don't know who's Blake is, but I like him. I think he's a cool member they added. Is he like new? Or am I just tripping and haven't noticed him? He's actually, I like him. Next few hours, Blake did everything. Finally a new Mr. Beast member that's like actually likable. I mean, like, I don't hate Carl. I'm not one of those people that hate on him. I just, like, I feel like the old members were obviously like, you know, better. But I mean, I, I think Carl's all right. I mean, is he even in it still? I don't even see him in this. Everything in his power in to one. place the top shipping container at shipping an angle to deflect right the cars, even if that meant using wooden logs to prop it up. If this container does not go exactly where I want to right now, I'm probably losing a lot of money. We did it! Oh, that makes me feel really good. The water tank, we bring that over to like right here. Fill that thing with bricks. And then we're gonna take the last car we got, put it right here. That's gonna block all this, it's gonna look great. We got a plan, baby. But what Blake didn't know is I was about to introduce a twist. Do you wanna know what the twist is? Yeah. Follow me. See that flag over there? That's a catapult. So as cars fall from the top, giant flaming balls are gonna be hurled from the side. Dude, I've been guessing millions of things I never thought catapult. I have like no more materials. I have nothing else to use. Throughout the final hour, Blake raced to cover the weak spots of his fortress. However, there was still a key part missing. His water truck, which he sent to refill in the morning, was painfully late. He has 90 seconds left. All right, here we go. As always, it comes down to the wire with Blake. 60, 59. 58, 54. He's drenching everything in water before we drop the cars to try to protect his money from the fire. 30 seconds remain. You really think this is gonna stop the fire? Oh yeah, baby. Three, two, one, drop it! <laughs> wow, oh no, I would've, no. If I was Mr. Beast, I would've fired him and I would've uh, put a bullet up his skull. <laughs> Just for that, I'm not showing mercy on the last one. You knew that was your That happen, was intentional. <laughs> no, actually, like, on some real shit, I would have thrown hands, bro, if that happened to me. No, that's, like, one of my biggest pet peeves, bro. Oh, man. Would spraying water on you without your consent? Hell no. Moment of truth. Look how high up that bad boy is. This is only the first of five flaming cars we're going to be dropping. On top of the five flaming death balls from the catapult. You ready, Blake? Let's get this going, dude. Light ah! it up, fire! To light him up, 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 light him up, I'm on fire. Now drop it! Oh no! Oh, oh my god! Oh! oh. That did absolutely Hold on, nothing. everything is actually setting on fire right now. The oh, wait, burning car successfully rolled off the container. However, the wood that Blake used to prop it up quickly engulfed in flames. Dude, what's going on? What is happening? What in there is on fire, Blake? I don't, I, I, I don't even know what to what, say. Alright, right what now. was on top of the shipping container? Alright, there is wood there. Let's not jinx it. Why would you put wood? Are you stupid? <laughs> wood is literally like meant for fire, bro. They were just making a giant uh, fire pit. Get some marshmallows, bro. Get those s'mores ready. Knock on wood. You put wood? <laughs> and you knew we were dropping flaming cars? I needed to use them, dude. Luckily, Blake did surround his money with cinder blocks. So there's still a very high likelihood his money is unburned. And since we're about to go into the coolest part of this video, obviously now, I'm gonna tell you about Acorns. Their debit card is meant to help you grow your money, not just spend it, which I'll tell you more about in a second. Fire! Acorns just launched the new Mighty Oak debit card that they made with Dwayne Johnson. Cool thing about this debit card Dwayne is every Johnson. time you make a purchase, it automatically rounds up to the nearest dollar and invests the difference for you. Believe it or not, your money is also under attack. Not by giant flaming death balls, but by things like bills, spending, and inflation. And when you're not spending, your money will be hard at work in two of the highest APYs available. Chandler, what does APYs mean? Chandler, bro, Chandler's just like that one guy in the group project that always just is there, bro. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not saying he doesn't contribute, but like, he always feels lost, bro. It means you can fight back against bills and he inflation by there. growing your money. Just by having your money in your account. Like, how you doing, buddy? Um, remember and I remember the days, bro, when we used to make fun of him for not winning challenges, bro. Oh, man, those were the days. But then he won it. I would, it you know what they should have did, bro? Like, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying the, 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 episodes are scripted they could be doing like a degree as far as like the challenges but i don't know like i know apparently the willy wonka one was like scripted bro because the dude that won like the factory was like and then you know how gordon ramsay was in it and how he won the challenge apparently he was like related to gordon ramsay i don't i don't fucking know the whole story i just know like it's kind of i feel like it, it is scripted to like a degree i feel like everyone low-key kind of knew this i don't know i don't know but um i feel like as far as like chandler 
they should have just made it to it where like he purposely never won because the memes would have just been funny as shit. They were so funny. I remember the comments, bro. Bring what it feels like to lose one of these things. Whoa! Oh, it's Look a direct that. hit. All oh, right on the money. And just from signing up, Acorns and I are giving you twenty dollars to start growing your money. So go to acorns.com/mrbeast to learn how you can make your money work for you. Light it acorns. on fire! Drop it! The reign of fire continued all throughout the night. Fireball! Da, 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 da. As the flames only grew bigger, things sadly started to look really bleak for Blake's money. No, no, no. That fire was raging for over an hour and a half. It's either all gonna be there or it's not gonna be there at all. That right there is a bunch of logs of wood. He accidentally created a giant bonfire. He thought he was making a fortress, but he was actually making a furnace. I mean, there's still a chance the concrete protected the money. Blake, moment of truth. Did the cinder blocks protect your money? Nope. Well, that the money's gone. Just too much. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, those are ruined. No. Ooh, the money is fried. It's a thousand degrees in there. Let's be real with ourselves, Blake. That hurts, bro. It's gone. All that money. <laughs> As you saw, most of the money Pizza. looked like this. Another loss. Yeah, this one hurts more than the laser one. What hurts the most is that I work so hard for nothing. Thank you, Mr. Beast, for making an uh, episode on me. By the way, I'm manifesting this. I will be in a Mr. Beast episode in the future. Maybe multiple. I don't know. Mr. Beast, I will be in one of your episodes, and you better invite me. <sighs> yeah, it sucks. The challenge is officially over. And before you go, Blake, I have an offer for you. You have two choices. You can either walk away with $100,000 or you can get a third and final chance to compete in a future video. All right, I'm coming back. You're coming back? I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. Blake's wait. final chance to be in a video is going to be right here, but it won't be uploaded. Wait, 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 wait. Is he just some random person? Until February. I thought he was like a new member. I don't think me, the audience, everyone can bear to see you lose a third time. I'll see you then. Wait, I'm confused. I don't know. All right, damn security. Well, guys, this is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, imagine just blowing up 500,000 casually. Like, damn. If you guys want reaction content, we're actually you know what to do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.